I've been making videos about free audio plugins for a while now, and while there are a lot of fantastic free options, one of the biggest challenges is getting them to actually work in your DAW. So in this video, I'll show you a new method for seamlessly installing over 65 free plugins and ensuring that your DAW recognizes them immediately. Then we'll cover what I find to be the best free plugins in this group, discuss what they do and how they work, and then listen to a before and after to hear how they affect a track. So let's get into over 65 free audio plugins to jumpstart your next project and how to install them. First up, we have the quickest way to install free plugins. So instead of going to the developer's website, downloading, installing, and hoping your computer recognizes the plugin, there's a free program that lets you install them instantly. It's called Sinisto. With the free account, you can access this freeware plugin box and select which free plugins you'd like to download. There's a wide range of plugin types and bundles here, from general mixing to guitar emulation, mastering virtual instruments, and creative modulation. Alternatively, you can click the Install All button, and after about 5 to 10 minutes, all of the plugins shown in this window will be installed and ready to use in your next session. You don't have to open any additional windows or verify anything, except I believe one synth asks for registration. Since your computer recognizes this Sinisto program as a verified developer, it won't try to block the plugins or require you to manually verify them. A quick side note, once you have your free plugins installed, if you select Scan and Organize, you get a good overview of both your new and previously installed plugins. But now that you know how to quickly install free plugins, and make sure they actually work when you open your DAW, let's cover what I consider to be some of the best options, mainly from a mixing and mastering viewpoint. Now first up, we have best mastering plugin, Lufticus. Now Lufticus has been a popular free plugin for a while, and for a good reason. It's a simple yet effective EQ, perfect for adding the final touches to a mix bus. And although the controls are simple on the surface, there's a lot of interaction that's occurring behind the scenes. If we observe the frequency response, we'll notice that changes don't just amplify the frequency range, but greatly affect other ranges, in turn amplifying the full signal. Now this could be counteracted with the trim dial, or if you want more interactivity between the various filters, enable the keep gain function. With this selected, adjusting one filter alters the gain of another, meaning you can affect various ranges with the turn of one dial. Now given each band's complex relationship to another, it's best to use your ears with this plugin, and know that you're not just making simple changes. Mastering mode makes recall easy by introducing 1 dB changes, but I'd recommend the standard mode, which offers greater control over the band's range. Analog mode doesn't introduce harmonic distortion, but instead introduces very mild randomization and modulation to the frequency response, which is a fantastic way to incorporate some of the non-linearity present in analog gear. So let's take a listen to Lufticus affecting a mix, and notice how one change can affect the full frequency spectrum. Real quick, if you have a mix that you need to have mastered, create a free account and send it to us at sageaudio.com. Next, we have the best analog emulation, Chow Tape DSP. This is a fantastic tape emulator, but only if you know how to use it. Although it's incredibly nuanced, there are some flaws that need to be pointed out. First, keep the effect at 100%. Varying the wet dry introduces unwanted filtering, even when linear phase mode is turned on. Second, keep oversampling at 1x. Otherwise, the frequency response is affected in an unintended way. Now, aside from those two big issues, everything else works incredibly well so long as you keep the effects subtle. For example, notice how significantly the signal is being affected by the degrade feature. Even though I have the settings as low as they'll go, there's still significant variation between the left and the right channels, and there's amplitude modulation. So if you plan to use this plugin on a bus or an instrument that you'd like to process subtly, keep in mind that small changes still have a noticeable impact with this plugin. Now if you want to completely alter the sound, try the compression mode in higher settings for degrade, wow, and flutter. Lastly, I'd recommend using RK2 as a hysteresis model for the most neutral effect. Let's take a listen.
Next up for best distortion plugin, we have Szechuan Saturator. Now this might be my favorite free plugin that I've used in a long time. Szechuan Saturator is bizarre, but it sounds fantastic. It's a saturator that, instead of using traditional wave shaping or soft clipping, uses amplitude modulation to create the effect. The results range from mild saturation when the modulation depth is set to zero, to resonant and outlandish when using a higher rate and depth. For example, if I want some drums with a moderate amount of distortion, I pick a low rate and depth, and then dial in the intensity in the mix. But I could just as easily completely alter the timbre with higher rates. Additionally, since the mix style controls the amount of modulation and not the wet-dry, you can adjust it without introducing phase cancellation. Let's take a listen to it and notice how drastically it can alter the sound. Next up we have the best guitar pedal emulation, Malibu. A lot of guitar pedals either fail to live up to their hardware counterpart, or they simply don't have a good sound. But Malibu is an instantly usable and enjoyable effect that can quickly shape the timbre of a guitar. The blend between creative tremolo and classic tape reverb culminates in a sound instantly recognizable as surf rock. In other words, it attempts to create a specific sound, and it does a fantastic job achieving it. The presets are a great starting point, with a lot of classic styles authentically recreated, but if you want to craft a sound or make something subtle, that's pretty easy to do. Two tremolo modes and two reverb modes give the plugin a lot of versatility, while additional routing, phase shifting, and reverb tail options make it easy to fine tune the final sound. It's a great sounding plugin, so let's check out some of the presets on a guitar. <laughs> Last up, we have Best Temporal Effect, HY Delay. If you want a delay plugin that doesn't go overboard with options, but it offers more flexibility and control than your DAW stock delay, HY Delay is a perfect option. The delay type and feedback sections are all pretty straightforward, with the nice addition of ping pong delay, but the EQ and ducking sections add a lot of value that you might be missing with a stock plugin. The EQ section lets you quickly shape the tone of the reflections, while the ducker attenuates the initial transient of the wet signal. This lets a portion of the dry signal through unaffected before the delay taps gradually increase in amplitude, which is perfect for retaining intelligibility while also adding the delay effect. A limiter keeps the signal from becoming dangerously loud, while randomization options can help inspire a new sound or be used for creative and experimental time shifts. So let's take a listen to it with the ducker off and then on. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Sage Audio has been a mastering studio for over two decades. To work with us, create a free account, upload your mixes, click request mastering, and leave any notes that you'd like. The master is uploaded to your account when it's done for you to review and then download. And if you're not completely happy, request a revision. We're not happy with your masters until you are. The standard turnaround is $49 a track, the express turnaround is $59 a track, and it's mastered by actual mastering engineers. If you don't need anything mastered, or you'd prefer to do that part yourself, liking the video and subscribing to our channel is a great way to help us out. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.